It is Throwback Thursday, Islanders, and we are bringing back a hot topic. Many of us cruised in the summer of 2021 as cruising restarted. One of the most controversial topics and protocols was masking, the wearing of face masks. You had to wear them indoors across all cruise lines. You had to even wear them outdoors sometime. You had to wear them in the terminals. But all that is long gone. But it is back in the news today because Carnival Cruise Line has requested that passengers voluntarily wear a mask on one particular cruise ship in a fun, exciting, and different way. We will share that story with you on the show today. We're also going to share a story regarding a Royal Caribbean ship who went to the Holy Land, an exclusive bucket list trip to visit two ports in the Holy Land uh, but there's holes in the itinerary as both ports have been canceled. We'll share that on the show today, and we will start the show with this, Carnival Jubilee's Funnel. We have exclusive video provided to us on Carnival Jubilee's Funnel making its way to the shipyard. We will share that video right on the other side of the intro. We all need some time in the islands. Let's go there now on Island Time. A big happy Thursday to all you Islanders. We hope you're having a great day. We are almost through this week. We are on island time. I am Derek. Let's drop our anchors and take some time to relax in the islands together. We are about to catch up on the latest in cruising and cruise news. There's a lot to talk about on the show today. We are glad you're here. If you are new here, we ask that you subscribe to this channel. This could be the day that we reach 15,000 subscribers. We are about 20 or 25 away. Help us reach that goal. We would love to have you as part of this community. We're going to show you this exclusive video. I told you I'd share it with you. This is exclusive video of the Carnival Jubilees Funnel making its way to the shipyard, of course, to be installed here in just a few weeks. Beautiful video here. I'm going to show it as we take care of some housekeeping business. This video is provided by M's Dollart Media. They have shared this video. And look at the funnel make its way, of course, to the shipyard. Carnival's iconic funnel. Iconic colors. Even if you don't cruise, when you see that funnel, you know who it belongs to. Uh, it is one of the most iconic branding pieces in the world, of course. It's going to be uh, fixed on Carnival's newest ship, the Carnival Jubilee, which is set to sail December the 23rd of this year. Many of you know this, but let me mention it. We have a group cruise on the Jubilee's inaugural sailing, about 20 cabins right now of Islanders. We are set to sail over Christmas. We will come back on December the 30th. It is the inaugural. There is no transatlantic. If you're interested in joining this selling, this group selling, let me know. Travel at bookislandtime.com. I would absolutely love to book you on that cruise. We would love to have you with us. Let's take care of this as well before we share the latest in cruise news. We're giving you an update on Norwegian Cruise Line's Giving Joy competition. Of course, there are several teachers that we have already mentioned on the show. Michelle, Crystal, and Emily. We're adding to that list Melody Pola as well. She's a teacher, a fellow Islander. Make sure you're voting for these teachers so they can be one of the top 20 teachers recognized by Norwegian Cruise Line, and they'll receive a free cruise because of their efforts and their work in education. Let's talk about this story here. We referenced it in the intro, uh, masking, right? We all remember having to wear masks. And at the time, we didn't care, did we? We just wanted to cruise. Cruising had been shut down for 18 months. And no matter what the industry said, no matter what the experts said, if they said that we had to wear a mask, guess who did it? I did it. You probably did it too. Give me the mask. I'll put it on. I'll cruise. Of course, those days are over. They are long gone. But Carnival uh, shared some news today that I thought was interesting in the way they phrased it as well. They're voluntarily asking passengers to wear masks on board one cruise ship. That ship is the new Carnival Venezia. She is sailing soon from Barcelona. We are on that cruise. Amanda and I and our boys, we are on the inaugural sailing May the 29th on the Venezia. 15 days coming across uh, of course, the big pond, and we're going to end up in New York City. We are taking you with us. We can't wait to share everything with you. Starlink Internet will be on board. We'll be able to share everything with you. Make sure you subscribe and ring that bell to receive notifications when we upload that content. We will show you a ship tour. We'll show you everything. We're, we're excited about it. Matter of fact, speaking of that trip, we fly out two weeks from yesterday. I forgot to mention that on the show yesterday. Two weeks, and airlines are already contacting us. Would you like to upgrade the upgrade ferry? Or would you like to upgrade 
Our long flight is almost 11 hours, and I would like to upgrade from a regular economy seat to maybe a economy comfort seat. Maybe you have a few more inches of leg room. The seats are a little bit wider, and they're doing a bidding system. Scandinavian Airlines, bidding system. My question to you is, if you're making that uh, transatlantic flight, how much money would you pay to upgrade your seat? Right now, they want $170 per person per seat. There's four of us. That's a little bit hefty to me. We're not doing it. But what would you pay to be upgraded on a little bit more comfortable, spacious seat as you fly over the ocean? Let us know in the comment section below because one day, hopefully, you are making a same trip. If you have no interest in the transatlantic trip, what is your bucket list trip? Let us know in the comment section below. Let's get back to Carnival's mask story. Carnival is sharing that they are welcoming, inviting guests to wear a mask the first elegant night as they host an event on board the Venezia, the Venetian Mask Night. Passengers are invited to wear those masks. I'll, I'll put a mask up here to show you an example. These, these fancy, dolled up, historic masks Passengers, of course, are invited to wear those the first elegant night, captain's dinner, uh, to look good, to look elegant, and to celebrate the history of the ship, the Italian heritage. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if guests do that, if they decide to do that. Uh, guests are welcome to bring their own mask if they want to. You can go buy your own. Amazon, of course, has some. John Hild shared today that Carnival will have uh, some mask on board, both probably decorative and they look good, but also fun and Carnival branded mask as well. I started to think about this today. You know, are, am I going to wear a mask? Will Amanda wear a mask? Well, my kiddos, my kiddos will think that it's fun, I think. But I started wondering how many passengers will wear this mask? How many passengers will engage in this activity? And that, the number came to my mind, 50%. Islanders, do you think 50% of passengers on the Venezia will participate in this mask night, the first formal night? Do you think they will wear the mask that covers their eyes? 50% maybe, I don't know. Would you participate in this type of event if you were cruising and were invited to do so? Let us know in the comments section below if you would do so and what you think the percent will be of passengers who take part in this event. It'd be interesting to see if this is something that stays around or if it dies out over time. We also wanted to share this story here from Royal Caribbean. Speaking of bucket list cruises, right? Visiting the Holy Lands is on a lot of people's bucket list. They want to visit the Holy Lands and there are cruise ships from many different cruise lines that visit. A lot of people spend a lot of money on the cruise itself, on getting to the cruise, and the whole trip in general. It is thousands and thousands of dollars. And there are passengers right now on board Royal Caribbean's Odyssey of the Seas, the May 6th selling. It was 12 nights. They thought that they were going to have two ports of call in the Holy Lands. Uh, but now there's holes in the itinerary because they're not going to be able to stop at either of them. Get this, the cruise was going to stop or make a port of call at Jerusalem, right? All important stop, another stop at Nazareth in Israel, bucket list stops. But because of local unrest, Royal Caribbean decided we're not stopping at either one of these ports of call. And this Holy Land cruise as it was marketed as, as people booked it as, uh, is, is no longer a Holy Land cruise. Cruise. This is what Royal Caribbean shared with passengers. Despite our best efforts to preserve our Holy Land experience, the geopolitical situation is escalating. We sincerely apologize for any disappoint, uh, disappointment this may cause. Thank you for your understanding. We hope you enjoy the remainder of your time with us on board Odyssey of the Seas. Instead of stopping at those Holy Land stops, the ship is instead going to stop in Greece, which is it's a good trade-off normally, right? Uh, but the Holy Land sites, that's why you booked the cruise. Greece, is the, the Greece has good stops, don't get me wrong, but that's not why these people booked the cruise. The unrest was taking place around 30 miles away in Gaza. It was probably, of course, the right call. Royal Caribbean has to think about safety. Uh, in one of these ports of call, at least, it was an overnight stay, right? Uh, so they have to think about safety. They made the ultimate decision to cut the ports. Passengers, of course, were upset. Royal Caribbean is doing everything they can to try to make things right. Uh, they are refunding any short excursion that was booked through Royal Caribbean. They're also giving passengers uh, some onboard credit, but they're doing it a different way that they don't usually do it. They're giving onboard credit based on your cabin category that you booked. So listen to this. Royal Caribbean says if you booked an interior stateroom, 
they're going to give you $250 onboard credit. An Ocean View stateroom, $300 onboard credit. A suite is $500 of onboard credit. That's shared between the first two passengers. If you have a third, fourth, or fifth passenger, they're, they're going to receive an additional $50 each onboard credit. And of course, Royal Caribbean doing this, uh, maybe setting up this system because of how expensive these cabins are, right? The interior cabin uh, costs less than a, an ocean view. It costs less, of course, than a balcony. Um, $300 for balcony, 500 for suites. So uh, expensive crews, Royal Caribbean trying to give back in proportion to what these passengers spent on their crews. Do you think this is fair? Would you be upset missing these ports of call? And I'll share this with you as well. We've had this happen a couple of times. Um, those of you who buy travel insurance, depending on your policy, not every policy, go with Allianz, okay? Go with Allianz, just trust me. Some policies will reimburse you for missing a port, even if missing the port was weather related, it was too windy to get in uh, to the port of call or there's violence, but some insurance policies will reimburse you for missing a port. It's important that you buy that trip insurance by the yearly policy. If you have questions on it, let me know. I, of course, will try to do my best to help you. If you're looking at booking your cruise, you want someone to manage your cruise, let us know. Email us travel at bookislandtime.com. We hope you enjoyed the show today, the latest in cruise news. If so, give us a thumbs up. That will put this show in front of others who are interested in cruise news, interested in cruising. That will help add them to this community. We hope you have a great day. Tomorrow is Friday. We are almost there. We can't wait to see your comments in the comment section below. We'll see you on our Facebook page, of course, and tomorrow right here on Island Time.